product bad, and I just read some more. You know, and also I looked it up online, and I'm calling like crazy stats, you know, even though no one ever got mad at me. And how long have you um, been a fan of the since the video game Kingdom Hearts came out, like when I first heard that song, it's uh, so plain, I just got hooked on the I got hooked on the music. And do you believe that an Asian American artist can make it mainstream in this country? Japanese, you know, and it's, um, I think I would have to say possibly it's her darkest album. I mean, artwork definitely, but not really the songs are dark. Just like this one song called I Love You that has this pretty dark riff, you know, dark riff wise. Um, I know, I've got more albums at home, but these two albums are just cool to make. Okay, thank you so much. It was nice meeting you. This is for the Pop Tools. Oh, yeah, Pop Tools. Alright. Thank you. Sure to check you guys out. You can analyze and read it too. Feel, there's one right here. Obviously, I've put in a lot of time into writing them. Um, and if you're, even if you're like, whether you're, you've been to university and you're super smart, or you're not good at school, like scholastic stuff, or if you're a girl or a guy, old, young, I think there's something in my music that you can all absolutely pick at. I love it. I love it. And obviously, I was saying you do write all your own songs, right? Yes, I do. And produce them all. Yes. Sometimes, like there'll be a word, like one word in the song that won't come out, like one one line, and then. Final question for tonight is: Are you going to eventually come to the U.S. and tour? And it, you know, drop digitally today on iTunes, and it's already number five on the top 40 chart. That is amazing. Let's talk about FYI. FYI. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was really surprised that a lot of American people don't know the original song that I sampled, called uh, "Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence." Yeah. Uh, 
famous movie, which is like a, apparently it was a cult hit, I guess, so people in Europe know it really well, and people in Japan know it because the composer is a Japanese guy, and um, I guess people that like 80s music, like David Bowie, oh, yeah. David Sylvia, they know the song, but I played this, I played, I sampled the piano part of that song in this, in this FYI, and I played it to uh, a lot of American people, like even the head of my label, and they never heard of the song before. They're like, I like the piano in this song. You're like, hello. So hopefully, you, well, again, with the multi-layered thing, if you know the original, you'll have another thing to enjoy about it. If you don't know the original, then you can enjoy the song. I think we're just going to enjoy it coming from Utah, so good to know. Awesome. I want to do a musical with Utada. Her and I want to bring Marilyn Manson and her together and make a just crazy bizarre musical like all the things that we used to see in the 90s. So, uh,